So here we go again. Nine years on YouTube, May 12th, 2015, the video that started it all was uploaded. And thinking about it in those terms, like 2015, the world was a different place back then. It's a long time, and it's, it's really cool to still be doing this, coming back to the same bear barrel year after year, as per tradition. And if you've never seen one of these videos, basically it's just going to be sitting here talking about the last year and the last nine years as a whole. And this back in the day when I couldn't live stream was my way of kind of long form communicating with you guys and then talking through the comments. I really think if we had, you know, capable internet back in 2015, this tradition may be a live stream tradition, but I like doing it this way, going for a bear hunt, something that really got the channel started. We did so much bear hunting back in those days. And I really wanted to start with the flinter bow here because that is something that's happened in the last 12 months. And we're not going to use it for every shot because the snake bite is kind of a better option for a hunt like this. But if you had told 12 year old Flinter on the day he saw the TV commercial for the Hunter Classic that he'd have his own bow in this game, for one, he wouldn't have believed you. But the smile and just the thought of it would have been unreal. When I started this channel out, back in really September 2014, I tell this story every year, but. Basically, I tried to kind of start uploading videos first couple of days of September in 2014. School got started, and frankly, I couldn't keep up. So, that's the reason I consider May 12, 2015 the true start of the channel, because from there was the consistent uploads. But I just wanted to be the biggest classic channel, and back in those days, as far as channels that exclusively uploaded the Hunter Classic content, there were a couple just north of 8,000 subscribers, and when you've got four, five subscribers, something like that. 8,000 is a massive number. It, it's something that even back then, I didn't even think was remotely achievable. And for it to have grown into this, to have, you know, an item in the Hunter Classic bearing my logo on it, it's, it would have been incomprehensible, quite frankly, going back to the first upload on the channel. Maybe we should have stuck with the Flinter Bow because that wasn't the best. I try to, you know, not talk about the hunt too much in these videos because there's so much to go over, but when we do something like that, inevitably it's going to be brought up. But it's just been so cool, like, the process of getting the Flinter Bow into the Hunter Classic last year, just befriending developers, community managers over the years, of course, hopefully impacting the game as a whole in a positive way. Something I recently saw, just, I always go back and look at old videos in preparation for these YouTube anniversary videos, to call them that. Last year's Learn to Play the Hunter Classic guides have amassed more than 100,000 views, which I just think is amazing. And more so because it just shows people to this day are still getting into the Hunter Classic, still learning to play it. The game itself is 15 years old, and the fact that there's that many people still looking to learn how to play the game is just, I think it speaks to how amazing this game is maybe how bad we are with the snake bite and i guess we're gonna go back to the flinch of the bow at this point because we've been talking about it anyway so over the course of the last seven years we've been live streaming here on the channel usually just every monday but specifically in the last year we really started to add a bunch of bonus streams and i've kind of got this thing where i like everything to be structured and scheduled i'm a very you know creature of habit type of person and I've only just in the last year maybe gotten over that to the point that doing a surprise stream and changing up the routine doesn't bother me enough to at least not do it. So doing more streams, both grinds last summer for like Great One Fallow Deer and then these angler streams lately, longer streams when I can, that's been really, really fun. It, you know, it's only taken six years, but finally I can at least stream for a little longer or a little bit more after all this time. And it used to be like physically exhausting to do just a two hour stream. I'm not exactly sure why that was. I think, you know, maybe part of it was just a little bit of anxiety, but I think more than that, I always have been, you know, afraid of disappointing the, the viewers as a whole, whether that's missing someone's chat or, or anything along those lines. I think that constant trying to make sure I catch every chat and read every message, which was just impossible back then and still is now. I think that was part of what made it maybe more difficult and what so often limited those streams to the two hour mark. 
And I think now if I stream more or longer, I I've just kind of recognized those people get that chance hopefully to be seen. Whether that's later in that stream or in a future stream because they're not just maybe once a week. It also does help that OBS doesn't show me a viewer count anymore. I'm not sure when they remove that, but I like that because then I don't have to worry about, oh, there's 600 people here, I gotta make sure I get everybody's message. I've always loved the live streams, like from the very beginning, when, you know, Zaggy helped me by streaming onto this channel, and Jackson Beard did the same thing. Those of you that haven't been around for, say, five plus years, right about in that area, back when I lived with my parents and didn't have good enough internet to live stream, what we did was we would get into a Discord call, and whether it was Jaxie Beard or Zaggy, would stream to my channel and I would be there reading the chat, you know, keeping up with alerts and all that kind of stuff, but it was from their perspective. That was my first experience in live streaming, and from the very moment we did that, I fell in love with it. Getting to actually talk to you guys, as opposed to, you know, as I mentioned earlier, this was my way of long-form communication, like, actually communicating real thoughts and stuff as opposed to just what's happening in the game it was from day one something i really really enjoyed and i'm just i'm so glad that in this last year you know it's only taken about a decade of, of doing youtube that we've gotten to do that more on the channel and hopefully that's going to continue doing these three hour streams i imagine when we get into deer season later this year that's going to be a little bit less likely just because of the time constraint but doing three-hour streams, playing multiple games, getting to fish in the angler, and obviously hunt, whether it's in Call of the Wild, Way the Hunter, or we even did a classic stream here on YouTube but not very long ago. That's been something I've really, really enjoyed and just hope to continue, and hope to continue improving with, growing, all that kind of stuff. I've thought about this over the last six months or so, really. There are something like 2,700 videos on this channel, and an additional, between Twitch and YouTube, probably 1,000 live streams. I'm not sure how many hours that totals, like all the time spent recording the videos, all the time spent live streaming. I'm assuming it's in the realm of 10,000 hours though. Close to 3,000 videos, usually three hours to record. Maybe about 9,000 hours of recording alone. Editing, live streaming, I, I think it's north of 10,000. And you hear, you know, you need to spend 10,000 hours at something to perfect it. And I don't think I have even come close to perfecting editing, streaming, making videos, any of that kind of stuff. I'm always trying to strive to improve, always trying to make something better. Literally just within the last couple of days, I finally kind of changed the thumbnail border. I'm sure some of you guys have noticed that. Something that has been brought up is the bottom of the old border made it look like a video that had already been watched to completion, the way that YouTube shows like the view duration bar. So even little things like that. Just always trying to make things better. That's what I enjoy so much about YouTube. And you guys watching the videos, commenting, showing up to the live streams, whether that's here or on Twitch, that's what allows me to actually do that. So thank you guys for everything. Whether this is the first video you've ever watched on this channel, whether you've been here for all 2,700 or whatever the total is, I really do appreciate it. And, and as I say every year, I simply could not do this without you guys. This is my dream job, and I didn't know what it was even when I started doing YouTube. This was a hobby for me for a number of years, and I think that's the way to do it, quite honestly, because when you do anything, not just YouTube, any job, any task, when you do it for the love of it, because you're passionate about it, because you enjoy doing it, as they say, you'll never work a day in your life. So again, Thank you guys for being here for all these years. We're coming up on a decade on YouTube, which is just madness. And I'm going to talk about the, the tenure stuff a little bit later. Don't mind me drifting down as I tab out to scroll through my notes so that I don't miss anything. And yeah, I just really appreciate you guys. That's something I want to make very clear in these videos. When, when I say thank you for watching, I'll see you next time at the end of every video. That thanks is as genuine as it comes. Without you guys clicking on the videos, this this would all just be, I think I used to say back in the old days, a kid talking into a microphone <laughs> playing a hunting game. And it truly would be. And speaking to you guys, meeting viewers. This has been something that's really only happened in the last couple of years. And I think it's kind of picked up over the last maybe two. That's been something that I just thought was, you know, never going to happen. I mentioned it last year to some degree. It's one of the coolest things I've ever experienced. 
kind of due to the IRL hunting videos, I would assume, which I'll get into that briefly in, in a minute. But I've gotten to meet even more of you guys within the past year. A few longtime viewers, which I've spoken to for years in Discord and streams and comments and stuff, actually getting to meet you guys was amazing. And the most, like, small, wor small world experience I've ever had. I met a viewer at my local Walmart, and I, I won't say names or anything, so we're not, uh, you know, giving away anything like that. Uh, you know who you are. Classic player, by the way, which I thought was also cool. Just, you know... We got a picture together, I'm in full character with a, like a bright yellow Steelers hoodie. Just, you know, talk about football and that all the time on the streams. If you meet me in person and I'm wearing that hoodie, at least you'll know it's me. It, it's just, it's so cool. And to, to anybody that I have met, whether that's um, at the ATA show, whether it's at my local Walmart, whether that's through the hunting trips, just know you guys have made my day in every single case. It, it's such a cool experience. Uh, getting to meet you guys out there in the world and not just through text or, you know, live stream interactions and that kind of stuff. Growing up, watching YouTubers who would attend PAX, is that still a thing? Like, I never hear about PAX East and all that kind of stuff anymore. I assume it is, and, you know, maybe I just don't interact with those channels anymore. But I never hear about that. And I, I remember watching it, and, you know, I, I was starting to get into YouTube at the time, and I just thought, like, I never thought I'd do that. I didn't think the channel would be big enough or I wouldn't want to go to a crowded place or even if I did want to, nobody would, you know, show up to wherever I would be. I don't even know how those things work. I, I never thought I'd meet any viewers of the channel and I'm pretty sure, all told, we've met somewhere between like 10 and 20 of you guys at all these different places. It it's really, really neat. It's an amazing experience just to meet you guys and where wherever that is in our own way without uh, like a specific meetup, such as a PAX or anything like that. Those genuine, you know, recognitions, I guess. That's something that I, I can't properly put it into words. But I, I'll never take that for granted. And like I said, I, I think it's largely because of the IRL hunting content. Minus the face reveal, which... Goodness gracious, was that in 20... 16, I was in college. Yeah, I guess it would have been. November 2016, I think that's when I did the face reveal video. I think the IRL hunting videos, having my face in videos, being in front of the camera, which I do think that actually has helped me with YouTube as a whole, just being more comfortable even in front of a microphone. Yet another one of those things that I think with many, many hours of doing it helps to improve the content as a whole. In the last probably two years. I feel like I've kind of slowed down with the IRL hunting content a bit. Not slowed down with the amount of hours I'm putting into trying to film or anything like that. Just the amount of content that gets put out and the amount of each individual hunt that ends up in one of those videos. And I would say it's probably partly due to wanting to improve the quality of the videos and also partly due to just not having as much time. So often anymore, getting out to the stand or getting out to the blind, wherever I'm going to hunt, Taking the saddle out, that was something that was really cool this year, the tethered sponsorship and actually getting to to use a tethered phantom saddle. It's as last minute as possible, so maybe there's not as much B-roll, you know, walking through the stand or any of that kind of stuff. I really want to get back more to the old follow-along weekly style of videos. I love those when I go back and watch them. That's my favorite type of real-life hunting content we've ever done, so... That's my hopes for this year. I've got some big plans as far as real life hunting content anyway that I'm not going to divulge too much right now, but I want to do more with it this season and beyond. It, I Like I said, I think it's largely responsible for, in many cases, actually getting to meet you guys without any reference of what I might look like. Obviously, those encounters just don't happen. But it's also... I've talked about this from the time I was like three years old. I just always thought, you know, watching like Whitetail Madness, that was the Drury Outdoors um, early day stuff. I just thought it would be amazing to get to, you know, share your hunting experiences with the world. From, goodness gracious, the time I could understand words. I loved hearing my dad's hunting stories, listening to anybody's hunting stories that would take the time to tell them to me. I love telling stories now and, and getting to share those experiences through the camera. It's, it's one of my favorite things to do. So I really do want to get back to that and try to improve what we're doing with it. And, you know, perhaps you can let me know in the comments below. 
if you preferred that style or more the style of what we've done in the last couple of years. But yeah, 10 years is coming up. By the time 10 years on YouTube comes around, Kyle and I are going to be married. That's going to be this winter. And I, I talked about that last year, so I won't get into it too much, but that's going to be wild. Just the mere fact that I met my fiance, like literally first interacted with her in my own live stream chat is crazy in and of itself. That also would have been just incomprehensible when I started YouTube. I think back then, that wasn't like something you shared with friends or any anybody that you were perhaps trying to impress. Like it was kind of, I remember, it was the albino brown bear that I shot on Valdeball with no barrel. I, I remember the video specifically. I was watching it uh, before school one day and one of my friends saw that I was watching. I think I was watching through to make sure I hadn't messed up the edits or anything because the video had just gone out. And I was so embarrassed to be like, oh yeah, I, I post YouTube videos. And now it's, you know, <laughs> it's one of the things I'm most proud of ever. That and maybe this bow. Which, by the way, is like perfect on this hunt and the snake bites over too. Anyway, that is obviously, getting married I mean, the biggest event coming in the next year. And I do have some different plans for 10 years, some additional videos, maybe some compilations and such. I I'm looking forward to all of that. And it's 365 days and counting. 10 years of videos. We'll be closing in on 3,000 total by then. If we're in the area of 2,700 now, five videos a week, 52 weeks is going to be, what, 260 videos or something like that? We'll be pretty close, and who knows how many live streams in addition to that. That's a lot of content over 10 years, and I still love making it. I still love like trying to come up with new ideas. The uh, revolver challenge we've been doing in Call of the Wild, trying to heart shot all those different species is cool. We're making progress in classic as far as those, like, short list trophies that I've always wanted to get. 200 Whitetail was like two years ago last week, I believe. The 400 Elk, we just got a couple of weeks ago. I've been hunting Timber Gold, you know, trying to get a 400 non-tip mule deer, which is our next big goal. 70 plus turkey happened. All of these years later, some of the best experiences I've had in this game have been in the last, you know, let's say thousand hours of gameplay or something like that. So perhaps one final animal to try to take down and then we'll wrap this video up. And as we do that, I just want to say thank you to all you guys again. Whether it is the, the first video you've watched, whether this is the 2700th, whatever number I mentioned, just I appreciate every, every second that you've spent on this channel, in the live streams, all the support. It's it's amazing to watch the channel go from maybe one day we'll hit 8,000 subscribers and be like, nice, those, you know, classic YouTubers that are at the top of it to, I don't even know what we're at now. I, I don't look at numbers nearly as much anymore. When we used to have the upload schedule, I think it was Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Those Saturday videos with the terrible upload speed that we had at my parents and, and the internet, it was awful. So I would get to work Sunday morning and I would always check, like, does it have 100 views yet? Numbers are not something I, I pay much attention to anymore, but regardless of what we're at, it's, it's insane. It would have been something I never thought could have happened. And just thank you again for making it possible, making nine years on YouTube possible. I really, really do appreciate you guys' support. It means the world to me, probably more than I let on in most cases. And just, just know that I do appreciate you guys' support in any way that it may come. So I'd like to end these videos with kind of like an uplifting message, if, you know, that that's a thing. I try to at least make that something. And perhaps as we do it, something we've never done as it's about to rain, so maybe we'll wait, is actually get like a decent kill. Never in the nine years have we had anything really special. That black bear was decent, and maybe we can wait out the rain and then come back and pick him up for a trophy photo. But as far as an uplifting message, watching this channel go from a couple of subscribers back in 
let's even say 2014, but really 2015 when I started uploading consistently. 10, 20, 30 subscribers, maybe 15 views a video in the early days to, to what it is now is just truly, truly amazing. And what I want to say here is to believe in yourself when it comes to pursuing whatever it is you want to do. Now, when I got started in YouTube, of course I wanted to make YouTube videos. I wanted to share specifically my experiences in the Hunter Classic and maybe one day it would have gone to another game as well. I mean, heck, we did some Nautica fairly early on back in the old days. It's okay to be nervous about doing that. It's okay to let a black bear <laughs> walk out of your scope. It, it, just going into something without knowing exactly what it's going to be like, that's, that's perfectly okay. Start something even though it's not going to be perfect. I, I have so many videos that I look back on and I'm like, I, I can't even watch it. it. It just makes me cringe to even look at it. That's how everybody gets started. One of the biggest life lessons I've learned is that basically nobody knows what they're doing in every aspect of life. And what I mean is everyone's winging it. You might be, it could be as simple as like, you gotta make a phone call to set up an appointment and you don't know what to say, you don't know, you know, how to do it. A lot of people out there don't know what they're doing with anything. Everybody's out here winging it. Everybody's struggling to figure something out. So getting into whatever thing you wanna pursue, don't let, the fear of the unknown keep you from doing that. You should go for whatever it is you want to do. It may seem daunting and scary at first, but just don't let that be the thing that holds you back. If you really want to do something, just remember that everyone who's ever achieved anything had to take that leap, had to struggle through not knowing what they were doing. Perhaps being judged by their peers around them, but quite frankly, even that's not something you have to worry about that much. Everybody's worried about their own thing. That's why it can be such a weird hurdle. Because in our own minds, we're all concerned that everybody's looking at us, that all eyes are on us, and whatever mistake we make is going to be magnified, but nobody cares. They're also worried about what they're doing. You should just do it. Dive in. Be willing to learn. Be willing to ask questions if there are people around you who can answer them. And be willing to make mistakes and accept that the first time won't be perfect. Like I said, I've got years of content. Like, I would not publish probably my first, oh my god, I don't know, 1,500 videos or something if I made them now. If I recorded that video, edited it, and it turned out exactly the quality of my first 1,000 plus videos, I would scrap it. But I was able to learn from those and improve them from that. Whether that's the videos themselves, the editing, the thumbnails, and I'm proud of them because of that. And you should be proud of whatever you accomplish too. Just remember, you gotta take the first step up if you want to climb the ladder. So, speaking of climbing the ladder, this is not a 22 plus, which is what I was hoping for, but you know, maybe one day, maybe for the 10 year video, we'll end up getting a real trophy in these hunts. It amazes me that it hasn't happened. If you think about just the pure number of bears that we've seen at this barrel, this is of the nine years, this is the eighth one here. I think it was our second year we went to Battle Bluff. For some reason, maybe, maybe I had no uh, thought of trying to establish a tradition, but now it's it's what we do every single year. Come back here hunting black bears, which was, like I said, one of my favorite things to do. So many videos in the early days were black bear hunts. I think it's really cool that that's become the tradition and the thing that we come back here and do time and time again. And speaking of time and time again, I will thank you guys one final time for watching this video, for watching any video you've ever watched, for all the interactions. It has made this channel and this community that I love so much into what it is today. And I couldn't be here without you guys. I know that may sound cliche, you know, whatever you want to say, but it, it is absolutely the truth. It just, this channel being where it is and this community getting to the point that it is, could not be here without every individual that's in the community that's being active in the discords, active in the stream chats, answering questions that new players may have. This community is so welcoming to new players and I think that's amazing. And that's something that I always wanna make sure stays in place. So I appreciate you guys so much for that. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you sticking through what has now been what a 25 or so minute video. 
pretty much right on par for the YouTube anniversary videos. And I, I don't know, after 10 years, if I'm going to be looking forward to them as much as I'm going to be like, oh goodness, we're getting old. But I, I've got some fun plans for 10 years, 365 days away. Very much looking forward to that. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all your support over the years. And as always, I'll see you next time.